Welcome to Exomagic Trick number 717. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook at Exomagic Trick 715 to 721. Hey, we got a great trick here. We're comparing two lists. Two parts to this. We want to say, hey, is this item in list two over in this list? If it is not, we need to say not in list. Otherwise, we need to ask this, the question, is it in the same order? So for example, A and R is the second item in this list, but it's the first item here. So we need uh, not ordered here. But this one, third one in this list, is also the third one over here. If that's the case, we need to say same order. Now, we're going to do a couple of things here. The first thing is we're going to look at the match function to see how to compare two lists. And then we'll look at the rows function uh, to tell us what order we have in this list. The match function will tell us the order over here, the ordinal position. It'll be 3. When we, when we say, hey, match function, look up this. It'll look over here and say 3. Over here, we use the rows function just to just get a natural order over here. And then we'll compare the two. We'll first look at the match. Match is a lookup function. We, all we do is we say, hey, match, take that, comma, look through this list over here, and instead of returning the actual item like a, most lookup functions do, it'll tell you the position. Now, I need to lock this. So I'm going to hit the F4 key, comma. The match type, since we're looking up exact matches and we have words and the lists aren't sorted, we need to say exact match or zero. That just means it's either going to find CFB over here. If there's no exact match, it will uh, give us an NA. I'm going to Control Enter and double click and send it down. Now, NA means it's not this item is not in this list, and that's very useful for some comparison. But we're interested in these positions over here. Notice ANR is 1. That means it's 2 here, but it's 1 over there. And this one right here is 3, because it's the third one over here. Now, how do we figure out the order here? We'll simply use the rows function, rows. And we're sitting in E2. So I'm going to type E and a dollar sign to lock the 2, the row, colon E2. This function simply says, how many rows are there from 2 to 2? But we have an expandable range. That's locked. That's not. Double click and send it down. When I click right here, you can see the range has expanded. The E2 is locked, but that E4 expanded. So now how many rows are there from 2 to 4? There are 3. Now we can simply combine these two. We can say, is this equal to that? Well, no, it's, it's not. Is this equal to that? No, but this is equal to that? Yes. That means they're in the same order. Now, we first have to deal with this NA. We actually have three conditions. We either have an NA, not in list, out of order, or ordered. So we're going to come up here. And I'm going to use the, uh, I'm actually going to copy this. And I'm going to say, because we're going to use it a second time. But now, I'm going to do the if function. And I need a logical test. I need to say, is this an NA? So I'm going to do is NA. Yes, there's an is NA function. Is NA is a logical function. It just looks at whatever. Whatever's in the uh, argument for is an A, and if it's an a, is an A, it returns a true. Well, what do we want? If we come back to our if, logical test, I type a comma. What do we want if true? In quotes, not in list, end double quote. OK, that's the value of true. But we have two other possibilities. So when I type a comma and get to the value of false, since there's two possibilities left, we have to use another if. All right, if, and I'm going to say Control V. And then we really want our rows. So I'm going to say equals rows. Now, this formula is in D2, so I'm going to type D dollar sign 2 colon D2. All right, so that in itself, we took the match and say, is it equal to the rows? Now, over here, we did it in two separate cells. But here, we just combine them, and that becomes a logical uh, formula. Now, if that logical test comes out true, like it will for S, C, Q, what do we want? In double quotes, I'm just going to put ordered. Otherwise, that's the value of true comma. Otherwise, we want not in 
order. Close parentheses on that if. Now the thing about multiple ifs is you just keep typing your parentheses and when you see the black one then you know to stop. Now I'm going to control enter and I'm going to double click and send it down. And there we have our not in list, not in order, ordered. All right, so the key was the match. The match is the uh, very good way to compare two lists. And we used is na. We also used that rows for a number incrementer. All right, we'll see you next trick.